Hi everybody, Elin here. Welcome to a new reading vlog. So it is Monday, it's a new week and I thought I would do a reading vlog. Um, so it's July 22nd. Um, we're in the middle of vacation. It's actually week three and reading is going great the past few weeks. I really hope to be able to continue on that. Um, but so far I have pretty much narrowed down my like TBR for the week with the books I want to focus on and hopefully I will be able to read more but these are the ones I actually feel like maybe I could do it um so first of all I have a book that continues on with the first of all I have a book that actually I read last week um but I didn't finish it so the first book I want to finish is Words of Radiance Part 2 by Brandon Sanderson I am pretty far along I have like 160 pages left or something like that I think um so it's not too too bad I'm really loving the book so far I really like the series and I feel like shit is about to go down and it's really exciting because this is part two of the books I feel like a lot of things will be happening in the end of this book um but yeah I have about 160 but you just left in this one so this is definitely the main focus and my goal is to finish this one today but we'll see how it goes and then when I finish that, I really want to read uh, Edge Dance of a Brandon Sanderson. This is supposed to be the novella you're supposed to read between Words of Radiance Part 2 and before Oathbringer. It's not that thick. It's under 300 pages. I don't really remember how far it was, how long it was. I think it's like 260 something. Yeah, 265. So it's not too bad and the font is quite big. So in this one, we get to meet one of the characters. Like very minor characters so far. But I've heard read that Brandon Sanders is planning to make a bigger story arc for her later uh, but this is the character Lift and I think the first time we actually come across her is in Words of Radiance Part 2 because I don't remember reading about her earlier so yeah I really want to read this one because I feel it will be a quick read and I mean Oathbringer is on my TBR for July so hopefully we'll get to that too um but then the other book that is on my TBR is The Diviners by Libra Bray this is a Shelf warmer, for sure. I've had this book for years and years and years. Probably like, I don't know, two, three years at least. Might be more. I don't know. Um, but this is like 576 pages long or something like that. Um, so it looks quite big, but it doesn't sound too bad when you say the actual page number. Um, but I wanted to read this one for so long. I know that people really like this series. And the fourth, and I think it's the final book, is supposed to come out in... I think it's February of next year, so I feel like it's the perfect time to start the series. Um, so I really hope to be able to get to this one. And then the last one is um, Shadow Rising by um, Robert Jordan. This is the fourth book in the Wheel of Time series. Um, last week I started listening to it. I'm about an hour and 13 minutes into it. Um, I will probably not finish it this week because it's one long freaking audiobook, to say the least. Like... I think it's like almost 40 hours or something i'm not sure um it's over a thousand pages long at least um but yeah so my goal is not to finish that book just to like get as much as possible read um but yeah those are the four books i'm focusing on and my goal is to finish three of them so words of radiance part two Ed stars uh, and Divi the diviners and I feel like it's possible because Words of Radiance, I have 160 pages left because I have already started it. And that's not too bad. I just answer, not very long book and big font, you know. And The Diviners, I just really want to read this one. So I feel like it's not too, too bad. Um, hopefully I will be able to get more books off of my TBR because Edge Dancer and The Diviners is two books on my TBR. And then after that, I have two books left. So... I really want to finish them all. Like, can I for once manage to do it? Um, but yeah. Um, so I think I'm going to start reading now. Um, I have some book packages to pick up later. So, yeah. Really hyped about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to start reading this one. I, so I just picked up like three packages. All of them... All of them includes books I've ordered. So let's just open them. Look at it. 
It's Movie This Time um, by Casey West and she's definitely one of my favourite contemporary authors. She's one of my outdoor authors and I've read like all of her books now I believe and this is your newest novel. So we have um, The Chosen by Tara Matthew. I obviously already own a copy but I was looking for a different book on Waterstone's website because I found out they had side editions of a different book. Um, but then I stumbled upon this one and yes I do already have it and I bought the other one like a week before I discovered this one. But it's fine um, because if you read that sticker up there you can see this is signed by the author. I already summoned a series by Tara Matthew like a month or two ago. And freaking loved them and I'm so hyped about this book and I just... When I saw that it was signed, I just, I needed to grab it. Ooh, it looks so beautiful. Oh my god. I feel like there will be kind of a theme on this haul, to say the least. Um, but yeah. So the first book is The Distance Between Us by Casey West. Like I said, I've read all of her books, so this will be a reread. But I don't actually own a copy, and I just I need to own all of her books, so I'm kind of trying to rectify that at the moment, um, but I really like this cover. I love Casey West books, I need to collect them all, so working on that. Which is also why I bought this. Um, this one is in hardcover. For some reason they removed the hardcovers quite quickly after they were released, I feel like. Okay, so this is Love Life and the List by Casey West. This is so far, like, my top two favorite Casey West books. It's this one and Listen to Your Heart are actually kind of fighting for number one spot. But I really, really like this one. And look at the cover and the spine. It's just so beautiful. Then I have three more books in here. They're all in the same series. They're all <laughs> new editions of books I already own. I don't I don't even know how many editions I own of this series, honestly. Seven editions of these books already, so now I'm starting to collect the eighth edition. Mm, but I'm fine with it. Um, so you guys know, last year it was um, the 20th anniversary of Harry Potter and the Swedish edition uh, celebrates 20 years this year and they released new editions and Sweden only have had like the one editions ever since they got published the first time around this is the first time they like make new covers and they're really like simplistic but really beautiful at the same time and I just I knew I needed to have them so about some books. So the first one we have Harry Potter or this is the end. This is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone or Sorcerer's Stone depending on where you come from and it's just so beautiful. Look at it. Now we have them in the back too. Harry Potter or Hamlet and the or Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. So we have the flying car, we have Hogwarts. This one of course was Harry Potter or Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Look at it! We have the stag right there. It's so cute. I just needed to have them. And of course, I'm buying all of them. It's just... I mean, it's seven books. So, it was a little bit pricey. But, yeah. That's my little book haul for now. I have ordered, like... I think there's three more books I'm waiting on. And then I will do, like, an official book haul um and those will be the best ones oh yes um but yeah this will look awesome on my shelves hi so i pretty much just run around doing some errands but i am currently on page 434 which means i have about like 122 pages left i think i mean i haven't read like a lot a lot today but Definitely working my way through it, and it's just I like just like her, all of the characters just started to get connected to each other, and there's just more like secrets being unraveled and plot twists, and you know people evolving, and I feel like shit is about to go down, and I feel like soon there might be a war on the horizon, and I'm really liking it so far. I'm flying through it, but. I really need to read it now so that I can move on to the next books because I need to get some reading done this week 
and month and year to be honest so yeah i'm working on it hi everybody ellen here so today it is tuesday it's july 23rd i want to say <laughs> um and i ended up reading really really late last night i think i went to bed at like 12 30 12 40 a.m or something like that it was really late i read for like an hour and a half maybe even longer than that before i fell asleep um but i managed to finish words of radiance part two by brandon sanderson um i read the last like 60 ish pages on my e-reader actually and this book was so good i definitely think it's my favorite so far um, in the series and it was just so eventful and things just coming together you got a lot of explanations for stuff and a lot of the character stories sort of combined they started to meet each other it was just it was just really really great and action-packed and you get to find out more about um, different magical aspects if you will and i'm just really interested to find out what is going to happen in the next book it's 9 50 a.m i don't know what happened with time because i've been up since like eight um but i just started reading edge stars by brandon sanderson this is also my tbr um it turns out actually that the first like 58 pages are sort of just a um an epilogue a prelogue and those exact pages you can find in words of radiance part two so i just read those pages like one or two days ago um and i don't really need a refreshment because i just read them so i know everything that happens so i actually kind of skipped those um and headed straight into chapter one where there's new stuff happening so i'm just thinking that not that anybody would care that much. But I'm just not going to count those 58 first pages because I didn't technically read them in this book. Um, I just want to read count the pages that I actually read. Um, so even if I f end up finishing this book today, which I will, goddammit, um, I'm not going to count those pages because I just want to be true to myself and know how much I read. Hi, so the clock is like 12.45pm and I've read literally like 10 pages. <laughs> It is not going well. I just kind of got stuck on my computer just looking up like a shit ton of books that I want to read. And um, I may or may not have ordered, plan to order all of them because I really, really want them. Um, I was actually just looking at my shelves and I realized that I have like one contemporary book and yes i've had the book for like two or three years and still haven't read it but i have nothing to choose from because i only have the one book and i do have a few middle grade books but i really really feel like reading middle grade i just really got into it when i started reading keeper of the lost city series and i'm almost done with that series i like all of the books that are out so far and i don't know what to do with myself um when i'm done with them so i kind of just like started to look up a lot of middle grade books and a lot of contemporary books and i may or may not buy them all because well i've actually placed an order like a week ago so that has already been done but now there's like a shit ton more and my wallet is part of me more like crying at this point but it may happen no regrets <laughs> So I'm actually looking on some books on Book Depository because there's like some super stuff there and the shipping is free. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you guys. So here it's mostly like middle grade books. I actually find a lot of interesting books I've never heard about before. And while the girls, you can't see the picture, but that one has like one of the most gorgeous covers ever and I need that. And then we have James Riley. I've read a few books by him. And then I've Giants and Ice just sounds awesome. And there's some contemporary. And Tsunami and I really love Wendy Blue Matrishi. So I think, you know, and this is supposed to be like pretty much Alice in Wonderland, but more gruesome. <laughs> then I also have some books on this Swedish site called Bookers. And I really want to own Wendy Blue Matrishi because I read that as an ebook and I don't own a physical copy. So I really wanted to change that. And then we have some contemporary 
We actually have three classics. I mean, I did good, even though I don't really need another copy of Alice in Wonderland. Um, and then there's just a lot of contemporary and middle grade, um, actually historical fictions. I mean, it's different. And then Carry On, which is technically not the contemporary, it's more like fantasy, I guess. Look at that cover. I just, I need it. So bad. Um, but yeah, those are the books I'm thinking about buying. I've already ordered like 20 books. <laughs> so, yeah, that's gonna happen. But now I'm about to order like 15 or 20 or God knows how much more. Because apparently I don't have enough unread books. Which I totally do because they're starting to get a lot again. Um, I managed to downsize it before the move and now it's pretty much just gonna be the same size again. Um, but yeah, at least it will be like middle grades and um, contemporary books, so there will be quick reads and I feel like it will be easier to get through a lot of fantasy books if I have something else to read in between. Um, so, yeah. I really need to read. Um, I started reading like The Diviners a little bit and I'm on page I'm on page 12 because then I wanted to order some books. So I read like, I don't know, five pages since I talked to you guys last time. And Edge Dancer I haven't even touched since I talked to you last time. But I think I'm just going to jump into Edge Dancer again because I really need to finish this book today. Um, so I have like four or five hours before I need to start like working out. So I really should get some reading in. It's been going really bad, you guys. <laughs> it's a new day. It's Wednesday. It's July 24th. And I'm really, really tired. <laughs> Those bags, people. Those bags. Um, so once again, stayed up quite late to read. Um, and I went out walking with Luna last night as well. And as you guys know, I read a book. And that was Edge Dance by Brandon Sanderson. I ended up reading like... I think 58 pages because this is such a quick read um, while walking with her for a little bit more than an hour and I was very productive if I may say so myself um, but yeah I finished this one quite late last night it was like 12.30 a.m. so you know shit happens um, but I really enjoyed this one um, we get to know this character lift a little bit more She's definitely, I feel like sometimes she's not very likable um, because she's kind of mean to this um, Windle, which is a character in the book, kind of. Um, and she's kind of rude to him a lot, um, but at the same time she's sort of sarcastic and kind of have kick-ass abilities and she, ha she, she has a good heart. It just takes some time sometimes to see it <laughs> um but yeah it was a really quick read i really enjoyed it and um i do know that lift is supposed to get sort of a bigger story arc later on in the stormlight archives so we're going to see more of her and um i'm really looking forward to it because i feel like she would be very different from the other characters we already have in the book and it will be like sort of refreshing um but yeah i ended up giving this book 4.5 out of 5 stars and then I read It's a Bit, It's a Bit, It's a Bit in ugh, The Diviners by Leo Bray. I'm currently on page 29. So you realize how much itty bitty bit I read. <laughs> um, and I have read like three pages today so far before I remind myself that maybe I should vlog. Um, but yeah, I ended up reading like maybe 12 pages of this last night or something i don't know um but yeah this is the book i will be focusing on now this my goal is to finish it um by tomorrow thursday so that i can start on the shadow cipher because i'm going away for a few days next week and um you know july ends next week so i really want to be able to finish this one and the shadow cipher before leaving and then i want to have started oathbringer part one but um, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I really want to finish this one by Thursday so I can start the Shadow Cipher. Um, this book is quite chunky, I think. It is 578 pages. So I feel like that's pretty standard at this at this point. Um, but yeah, and like I said, I'm only on page 29. So I really don't have a lot of thoughts. Honestly, I'm a little bit confused so far. Because so far we've changed... 
we've met a few different characters and we don't really know a lot about any of them um, so we'll see hi so it is so warm today and i'm like literally sweaty on my upper lip <laughs> I just went out with the garbage and now I'm dying. It's so warm. It's crazy. It's so warm in here too. Ugh. Okay, well, enough about my sweat to talk. Um, I've been reading The Diviners by Libba Bray. And it's actually a surprisingly quick read. Um, I'm on page 139 right now. So I'm a little bit into it. Um, it's very different from things I've read before. Um, it's a historical fiction, but it has like... Um, some parts with like the uh, supernatural and the occult and stuff like that sort of little influences about it and then there's like a murder mystery and I've never read anything like this before it probably exists it's just that it's not a very it's not a genre I'm very familiar with if you put it that way um, but I'm really liking it so far and I can definitely see why the series is so hyped and like based off of my thoughts right now I could definitely see myself continuing on with the series. I think the fourth and final book is supposed to be out in, I think it's February or something like that. So it's not that far off. Um, but I'm definitely enjoying it so far. Evie's the main character. She's kind of, uh, she's kind of hard to like sometimes. But at the same time, you kind of do like her because she's very, I mean, this takes place in 1926. So she's definitely very different from the other, like, women that are descriptive in the book. Um... So it's really interesting and I kind of like that about her that she's not trying to be one of the, like, everybody else. She's stand out and a little bit more, like, more brave to say the least and, like, like not accepting, like, every stereotype and stuff like that. Um, and I like that. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it and now I'm just going to continue reading for a little bit and then I'm going to edit some videos and um, blog a little bit and then I'll probably try to work out in this heat wave we'll see how it goes but yeah let's read hi loonies what you doing so we're out in the little forest again um i brought a book um the clock is currently 8 45 pm we've been here for about 15 minutes Luna's eating grass <laughs> and I just felt like being out for a really long time today so we might be out we were out for like one hour and ten minutes yesterday so I'm thinking maybe one and a half maybe even two hours depending on how cold it gets but it's really darn warm and I'm wearing a jacket for some reason I don't know why um, so yeah I'm just gonna read the diviners I am currently on page 160 so I haven't read a lot since updating you guys last still have a lot um, to read but it just I really like it <laughs> started to look up online like the other books in the series Luna wants to go oh my god I've started to look up the other books in the series and I know there's a lot of cover changes and you can't even get the first book to diviners in the same cover as the other ones so you know that's fun um, so we'll see how it goes with that. This is so hard to vlog while walking the cat. Um, but, so I don't really know what to do about it. I guess I'll keep the copy I do have and try to get the other ones in the same editions. But I've looked at it and it seems like all of the books are like different sizes. All of them. <laughs> so it's going to be really wonky and that's going to annoy me. But whatever. And I also looked up the other series that Liba Bay um, wrote. The Gemma Doyle trilogy, I think, and have been interested in that for a while. I don't own that one. I think I have the first book of my e-reader though, so I don't know. Um, but I really want to read it. I guess I really like this book. Just casually walking down a mountain. I feel like sometimes Luna doesn't get that I'm not a cat. But we're walking. Where are we going, Luna? Where are we going? We're gonna walk. And we're walking. Thank God it's not slippery today.
think we're heading to her favorite spot. It's just really tall grass everywhere. Dude, I almost dropped my book. Since we started to go out every single day, she's like, we're bossy about her territory. She walks around a lot more. She doesn't sit in the same place for 20 minutes. Fortunately, it makes it harder to read, but whatever. Hello, so it is Thursday. It's July 25th, I wanna say. I don't know, I am so freaking tired. <laughs> and I did actually fall asleep earlier than I have like the last few days. I fell asleep at like 12 a.m. I think. Um, but yeah, I got a shitload of reading done yesterday because me and Luna, which I vlogged a little bit about, um, ended up being out for an hour and a half, a little bit more than that. And I just get so much reading done when we were outside because, I mean, she walks. A lot but then she just ends up sitting like looking at stuff for, like 20 minutes at a time as well so i do get a lot of reading done and since we were out for so long i think i ended up reading like 60 pages or something and then when i went to bed i read a lot on my e-reader as well so i'm just gonna check where i am at the moment so i'm on page 276 which means that i'm pretty much halfway through and um I'm really liking it so far. I just I love the like uh, supernatural aspect of it and the fact that Evie has this ability when she touches um, certain objects, she can see like that person, what has happened to that person, what the person has done and stuff like that. And um, it's just really interesting. Although she does use that as a party trick, which I feel like is a stupid idea. Um, but they're sort of trying to solve the murders and. They just got some clues, and it's really interesting, kind of a little bit morbid and gross. Um, but I'm really, really liking it so far, and I definitely want to continue on with the series as it is right now. And my goal for today is to finish this one. As I said, I read half of the book yesterday. still feel like it's possible. Um, but yes, it's still a lot of pages to read. But tomorrow I need to start reading The Shadow Cipher, which is a middle grade book. So I feel like that would be a quick read, but still kind of chunky. So yeah, I'm just going to read now. I don't fucking worry because it's like 5 billion degrees outside. And if I look sweaty, it is because I am. Holy crap. Um, I have two big ass boxes here. And in total, they weighed like... 11 or 12 kilos or something around there and I obviously did not carry those home because holy crap I would have died uh, I used to <laughs> take my, I don't know the English word for it, the Dramaten, insert a picture and uh, with me everywhere, every time I get a package that I know is a little bit heavier because it's a little bit of a walk to get a big uh, boxes so I'm dying <laughs> but this box is mainly like contemporaries because I realized that like one or two and I'm really really excited about these books so there's a lot of books that are actually written by the same authors so yeah and also the majority of these books have ridiculously good ratings on Goodreads so I feel like it like I have a lot of Goodreads ahead of me um there are so many books and I've already done a book haul earlier in this vlog so I'm just going to pretty much show you the book tell you the name of it and the author and that will be it. The first book I see, The Exact Opposite of Okay by Laura Stephen. That's one ridiculously beautiful cover. And then when you turn it around, there's like a lot of animals. Such a cute book. And we have Call It What You Want by Bridget Kammerer. This is a very new book, I think, but it looks cute. This is Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. And I've heard great things about it. A Girl Called Shameless by Laura Stephen. I was born for this uh, by Alice Oseman. Um, this is Heartstopper Volume 1 by Alice Oseman. And this is a graphic novel. And I'm definitely not the biggest fan of graphic novels usually. But I really like the art style. And nothing is colored in or anything. But um, yeah, and you can read the graphic novel. It's published online originally. I don't know if everything is. But a few chapters at least. And I read it a few chapters there first to figure out if I would like it. And then... Love from A to Z by S.K. Ali. Prince Charming by Rachel Hawkins. Love this cover. The Way I Used to Be by Amber Smith. Um, Love, Hate and Other Filters by Samira Ahmed. Um, Girl Made of Stars by Ashley Herring-Blake. 
love the cover. Oh, wait, here we actually have a middle grade book. And this is The Mighty Heart of Sunny St. James. Letters to the Lost by Bridget Cameron. Uh, Focused by Alison Gerber, I think this was the one with a girl that had ADHD. Uh, More Than We Can Tell by Bridget Cameron. Um, so we have With The Fire on High by Alison Acevedo. I have Her Royal Highness by Rachel Hopkins. Seriously, this is the most beautiful cover ever. Heartstopper <laughs> Volume 2 by Alice Osman because I cannot just buy the first book in a series. Tournament by Samira Ahmed. Um, I Wish You All the Best by Mason Deaver. Oh! <laughs> Look at that! This is a character, animal, whatever you want to call it, from one of these author's books and it says Doomslug, so have you read the book? Then you know. <laughs> oh my god, it's so shiny. Okay, so <laughs> this is a letter bound edition of The Hero Ages for Brandon Sanderson. And look at it. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. It's gold edges. And then it's like an art gallery. Whoa, those are really creepy dudes. Um, then, and it is freaking signed by Brandon Sanderson and I am dying you guys I am dying <laughs> so um I will leave the website down below but you can actually order these from the US so shipping was whew, I don't even want to talk about it and also customs mm -hmm, it was expensive as hell but it was definitely worth it look at that oh my god i almost actually think that this is the prettiest one i don't know maybe it's the colors um but this is elantris by brandon sanderson it has silver edges it's like a is it black or is it dark blue i'm not even sure in this color but on camera kind of looks blue i think um but we have art and it's so beautiful oh my god look at this so it is also signed. I just, I, I just, I needed to uh, have these, and immediately I only ordered three books. So and one of them was a Lantris. So I guess you can probably figure out that I don't have the entire um, Miss Bond trilogy because one of them was sold out at the moment. Um, so I have to wait for that to get back in stock, which I don't know how long that would take, but definitely need to have it. So we have the last book right here. And this is gold edges and brown-ish, red-ish, I don't know. I'm so sweaty, I don't really want to put it on my lap. So the, pretty much the difference between these two, doom stuff. The difference between these two are like the signs on the covers. And these are supposed to be the different um, symbols for different um, metals that they can inhale in this series. So we of course have to look, ooh, fire. This is so beautiful. And this is um, Mistborn, if I didn't say that. The signature! Oh my god! I used I need the Well of Ascension. I need it in my collection because I have book 1 and 3. Like 10, 15 p.m. I'm getting a little bit tired. Um, but I just want to tell you guys what I read in the afternoon because I don't really think... I don't think I updated anything besides the haul. <laughs> so, like you saw, I hold a shitload of books. And I couldn't stop myself, so I started reading one of them. Uh, and that was Heartstopper Volume 1 by Alice Oseman. This is a graphic novel. It's an LBTQ novel, actually. Graphic novel, actually. And it was just so cute. So we meet Charlie, and he's like um, openly gay. And he goes to this all boys school. And he gets to sit next to this guy in class, and he starts liking him, but he doesn't know if the other kid, is, if the other boy is gay or straight or whatever. And this, there is just a beautiful, beautiful friendship, and then they fall for each other, and it's so freaking adorable. But they definitely have like, there's definitely bad shit happening as well, and they're just trying to get through it, and it's just so freaking adorable and i loved it and i didn't want to put it down and i read it so freaking quickly and for once i am so happy that i ordered volume two right away because usually i'll get mad at myself for not containing myself uh buying like the second book or whatever or the third book before i even read the first book but this time i'm so happy it's so freaking good you guys so worth the read 
and I don't know but I might have to read volume 2 tomorrow like I might have to because this was so good you guys and I'm usually not that into graphic novels at all but it was just oh, so good so cute so yeah definitely a new favorite to divide and spell of a brain now I have so much left I don't think I'm gonna finish it tonight you guys which messes up my entire schedule so I'm just gonna try to read as much as possible and then hopefully I can finish it quite early tomorrow hi so it is oh, Friday um, July 26th I think and I once again did not stay to my TBR um, so I read Heartstopper Volume 2 by Alice Osman and Oh my god, these graphic novels are like the cutest, most adorable thing ever. And I just, I love Nick and Charlie. They're so cute and just so freaking lovable. I just flew through it. I don't even know how long it took me to read it, but oh, I wish I could reread it like right away. <laughs> but I really need to stick to a TBR. But seriously, these graphic novels are like so freaking perfect and i mean the storyline i mean they do have some issues um you know with other characters because there's some people that are not really nice to charlie and like mock him and ridicule him just because he's openly um gay so they definitely have some things to you know that are against them if you will but it's just so adorable and it just explains so much and i feel like this is like a perfect um perfect story for so many ages and it's just oh i love it so much and now i have to wait until next year for the next one and i don't know if i can handle it because it's so cute oh my god so last night before i went to bed i read like 60 pages of the diviners and i read quite a lot when i was out with luna for like an hour but i still have i think 80 pages left so I'm on page 499, so yeah, I've got some pages left. So I've really just tried to put my phone away, take away the distractions because I've spent way too much time on that thing. So it's way over there. <laughs> so I'm really gonna try to finish the diviners right now. Okay, so I thought I would update you guys. Um, I finished reading the diviners by Libra Bray. A little while ago like maybe an hour ago I made lunch in between um, but I finished it and it was just I really like the historical fiction aspect and the supernatural parts and like the characters and it was just very very interesting very different from stuff I read before and I definitely want to read more I want to find out what's going to happen because there are some interesting leads for the next book and I really want to know what's going down. So yeah, I really enjoyed this book. And I'll talk more about it in sort of the wrap up of the video. And I've also started reading The Shadow Cipher by Ruby, uh, Laura Ruby. I just started it, so I've read like... <laughs> I'm on page 10. Um, but this is supposed to be a middle grade book. It's about this um, morning star building in New York and the inventors of this place Theodore and Therese I think they're called um the twins and they invented a lot of stuff in New York this tower being one of them and then suddenly they just disappeared and told everybody that it would be giving out clues through the paper that um they would have managed to f like finish the mystery puzzle uh, would get the their land and their money and everything like that Saturday, it's July 27th. I'm really, really freaking tired. Um, so she's like 9.15 and I've been doing some laundry. So I'm listening to my audiobook, which is like the second time this entire week. I don't know what happened with that. Um, but I have a lot of laundry to do. So I'll probably end up listening to a few hours of my audiobook, which is good because I've barely listened to anything of it. Um, but yeah, and right now I'm reading The Shadow Cipher by Laura Ruby. 
and it's going quite well actually I'm on page 197 so almost halfway through and the goal for today is to finish this one and preferably like maybe start reading Oathbringer part one um but I'm really liking this so far I mean this is a middle grade book and we have these um the main characters are twins we have Tessa Leo and also their friend Jamie their house is the apartment building they live in is part of the morning star like complex or whatever you want to call it and they found out that this really rich dude <laughs> um bought a building and they have one month before they need to move out and they don't want to do that because they've lived their entire lives in this building and everybody that lives in the building are really upset and um, they decided to try to find the sh film to solve the shadow cipher and you know found the money and maybe they can buy the building and keep it um so right now they're just running around new york city trying to find some clues and i just really like their like friendship and the ca the main characters like they really like sassy <laughs> so it is sunday it's july 28th i think and it is still so freaking hot like yesterday it was like 30 and a half degrees celsius in the apartment meaning it was even hotter outside and now it's just like 30 degrees celsius in the apartment and i'm dying um so yeah so i'm gonna go to my parents later today because we're going to belgium tomorrow so i have some fix things to fix i'm bringing luna with me to their place so she can go out on her own while we fix things um so probably won't have a lot of reading time today so yesterday i finished reading the shadow cipher by laura ruby um i really like the storyline and the characters and the like cipher or puzzle if you will it was really interesting um to find out where the clues were and what the clues was and there are some genius children in this book, I tell you that. Um, there were some plus twists, um, which I really liked. One of them I definitely saw coming, but it was fine anyways. Um, and I really enjoyed it. It was a really, really quick read, honestly. I flew through it so quickly. Um, the one thing I didn't really like was the ending. I felt it was a little bit anticlimactic, honestly. Um, I mean, it wasn't horrible. It just wasn't what i wanted so yeah i was a little bit disappointed in that one but i still do think that when we want to read book two which i think came out this year or will come out or i don't know um but yeah i ended up giving this sort of a a four star and i also ended up starting um uh, oath bring apart two by brandon sanderson um since i finished shadow cypher so early <laughs> um but i didn't start this one until later though but 45 so i didn't manage to get like that far um but i mean that brandon sanderson books are a little bit slower to read yes because they're like adult fantasy so they take me a little bit longer to read um but i really like words of radiance part two so i'm interested to see where this book is going hi so i thought i would wrap up this reading vlog and it actually went pretty done good if i may say so myself i ended up reading the shadow cipher by laura ruby this was a really fun and entertaining uh, middle grade book although i found the ending a little bit anticlimactic it wasn't really what i expected and i mean it wasn't horrible <laughs> i mean it was pretty good but i still wanted like something more you know um i ended up giving this book four out of five stars then i also read the diviners by liba bray this is a a historical fiction with like supernatural elements also a murder mystery uh, i really like the characters and the plot was really interesting i like the historical aspects as well as the um sort of murder mystery because it was sort of a new twist to it uh, i really enjoyed it i definitely want to continue on with the series and ended up giving this book 4.5 out of 5 stars i also read heartstopper volume 1 by alice osman this is a graphic novel about two boys falling in love this was so freaking adorable such a quick read even though it's kind of chunky but i mean it's a graphic novel um I usually don't like graphic novels very much, so this was a definitely, definitely like, such a good, like, oh, such a good surprise. It was so good, I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. Of course, I couldn't contain myself, so I also ended up reading Heartstopper Volume 2, and this was so 
freaking good oh my god i can't wait for volume three because it was just so adorable so obviously give this five out of five stars i also ended up reading edge dance by brandon sanderson and i really enjoyed this one and i think i and uh, the character lift was really funny and it was a very enjoyable read and i'm definitely looking forward to finding out more about lift because according to brandon sanderson she's going to be a big character in the stormlight archives um very soon um and i think i get this book 4.5 out of 5 stars i also read words of radiance part 2 by brandon sanderson uh i started this the week before i didn't end up finishing it i read it this week and it was so freaking good and that ending though it was action-packed so many plot twists you get to learn so much more stuff about the characters you get to meet new characters and it's freaking amazing and shit went crazy for some reason read five pages of shadow and bone ballet by doga i don't know why but you know five pages wow and then i also listened to the shadow cipher which is book four in the wheel of time series by robert jordan and that racked up two hours and 21 minutes and the last book i read was actually Oathbringer by Brandon Sanderson. This is book three in the Starlight Archives. Uh, I ended up reading 105 pages of this book. Um, so far, not a lot has happened. <laughs> no, but it pretty much continues on where book two left off. Um, it's a lot of anticipation for what is to come. Um, but really good so far. I really love the character still. And I just... I just want to find out more honestly because there was a cliffhangers in the last book. I need to know what's going to happen. So I'm really enjoying it so far. So yeah, now we're going to count together how many pages it turned out to be. I think this was my best reading week, like, ever. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty impressed with myself because that's pretty darn good. And top it all off, I also listened to 2 hours and 21 minutes of audiobook, which means... Counting those things the pages, it would have been even more. So yeah, I had the best reading week of my life. <laughs> no, uh, seriously, I haven't really been counting pages per week for that many weeks. But it feels like it was like best reading week ever. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this reading vlog. And I hope we see each other in the next one. Bye!